So in this episode, we are going to see how we can create the class, what are the rules to create the class, and most importantly, why we need to create the class. Okay, so let's first answer this question, why we need to create the class. So think about your project as a school. Yeah, as a school, think about it as a school. And everyone know that a school has various classes. So think about firstly, why school need classes? Because for a particular class, the syllabus is different. Actually, if you say like this, for every class, the work they are going to do is different. Obviously, if first class is doing something, then that second class is not going to do that. So if you are on a third class or in your 10th class, every class has a different syllabus. So that's why we are going to create class. And what is the benefit of this? Benefit of this is that if you are dealing with a certain functionality which belongs to certain class, then you just have to go to that class. You don't have to search in your whole school or in your project. So we need class to actually divide our big project into small chunks of smaller problems. So everyone know that a smaller problem is easy to solve. So to solve a big problem, we will chunk out our project into smaller classes. Okay, so come back to the school. So every class has some students. That means every student has unique characteristics. So in PHP or in OOP, every class has some functions like every school class has some work to do, some syllabus to study. Okay, so here our object oriented class can have many functions. In our programming class, we can have various attributes of that class. So I think you are convinced that why we need class. So let's see how we can create the class. To create class, it's super easy. You just have to say class and before creating the class, I will just create a new file called index.php. Okay, and here I will say class and the class name. Let's create your class name as the student. So I will say student and remember this, I have used capital S here. Okay, so after this, you just have to use these curly braces and it's done. Your class is actually created. But suppose if you want a class name to be like uh, my students, Okay, but you can do like this. You don't have to use space. So what you can do, you can camel case everything. So you have M capital and then S capital. So these are the some rules to create the class name and create the class. So it's very simple. And in the next episode, we are going to see how we can create the attribute and the functions in the class. Okay, so till then, don't forget to subscribe and like BitFumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.